Hey, it's Sophia Ren of SophiaRen.com, also known as the Manifest Goddess or the Balancer. And I work with spiritual and creative ladies who are feeling overwhelmed about something they want to put out into the world to help people, but also fully express their heart. And I help them to speak up about what they really think and feel, become more comfortable with themselves, to achieve their goals easily and more creatively and to bust through all of those limiting beliefs and emotions and feelings around money so they can have extra for fun things. And I'm really excited about today because I want to tell you about this really cool thing I mean. And um, I just did this the other day and it was so powerful that um, it really piqued my imagination and I really felt so inspired. I couldn't stop writing. And the next day I had a whole nother download and um, it made me feel really powerful and beautiful and a part of this really wonderful story. Um, so if you've ever had an, uh, been inspired by Disney movies as a kid like me, well, then you're really going to like this. And um, I encourage you to play around with it. I'm going to include a few like kind of places where you can pause the video if you want and personalize this even further to you. So I'm um, really excited to share this with you. So um, I want to to honor my friend Brad Reed, who gave me the idea for this. So um, he said that he's been doing some EFT or tapping work, which is using the acupressure points on the face to affect the emotions and your thoughts, and I think also your spirit. Um, he was using the phrase, I refuse to be successful, to really voice any part of us that's holding us back. And it's really so important incredible because we do hold ourselves back from success in a number of ways and this helps to clear it and move it and we can really allow it for ourselves so this is for me um really all about becoming like a queen or a goddess or um i had to have this cinderella story growing up so the the transformation cinderella has where she's going from cinderella to being a queen at the end or a princess that really speaks to me especially the, the royalty um powerful you know transforming in such a huge way and it was so magical and it's like I would love that for myself but but sometimes when I'm doing the things that I know work um, I feel like they could work more if I could allow them to work more like I'm, I'm talking about like energy work or or doing tapping doing you know being coached by somebody doing a personal ceremony um, just so many things like our beliefs about if something can work, if something we're doing is working, if we have the power to make something work and change in our life is really powerful. So this is about believing like, hey, maybe we can have a life like a Disney story and go from Cinderella to Queen. So I hope we haven't intrigued you. It's a little explanation about where I'm getting this and I'm just going to dive in. So we're going to gonna tap for the points and you can follow me and try it. <laughs> if you're a guy, I mean, you can just say the word king or something else that appeals to you. Okay. I refuse to be successful. I refuse to be in the process of being successful. I refuse to believe that I am eventually going to be successful. Part of me knows I'm in the process of becoming successful. I'm on the track, but I refuse to see this. I refuse to see this. No, I'm definitely not. I'm not. I'm not anywhere close. I, ref I refuse to see this. No way. No way. I'm blocking myself from seeing this. I'm freaked out about the idea of actually getting what I want, of actually getting my money goals, of actually making an impact the way I want to make an impact of actually having everything that I say that I want. That's like magic. And magic and money can't mix. That would make me a sociopath. <laughs> that would make me a weirdo. It'd make me like an evil, greedy witch. Or an evil, greedy stepmother. Magic, spirituality, and money don't mix. Miracles and money don't mix. Oil and water, money and miracles. Oil and water, spirituality and money. Oil and water, magic and money. I'm scared that it's morally wrong to try to mix them. 
and that they're incompatible things. Magic can be used for other things, sure. And I can have other kinds of miracles. But it can't work with money. Definitely not money. Money requires work. Lots of things I want require work to happen. It can't happen without work. What I want can't happen without work. And think about what you want as you say this. What I want can't happen without work. This goal cannot happen without work. A lot of work. A lot of work that I have to do by myself. So, and I have to do it all by myself. I have to do it all by myself. That's a lot of work and I'm really overwhelmed by that fact. <sighs> Deep breath. That it's gonna take a lot of work to get what I want. It can't all be aligned right this second. Poof. Like a miracle happening in a Disney movie. Fairy Godmother waves her magic wand over my life, and it's happily ever after. And I'm definitely not that Fairy Godmother. Or the recipient of a magic wand waving. That's just for kids to believe in. It doesn't happen that way. In that story, I get my wish, all my wishes, no matter what they are, including lots of money, and a sense of righteousness, of being the hero, or heroine. I get all my wishes, and all my desires, and my future desires, forevermore. Just like that, just that simple, all at once. The end. I am raised up to royalty, sovereignty over the whole kingdom that I live in, and I'm safe. I've always wanted to be in that story, even when I was a little girl. And in that ending, I'm so safe and successful. And I'm even safe from people who don't like me. Who were my enemies? Who tried to hold me back? Who felt disappointed by my true colors? But in this story, I am me. I am so me. And I'm proud. And lots of people like me. They love me. And they invite me to fabulous parties and places. I have a tower of my own, a castle, maybe even with a moat. There might be dragons and unicorns. <laughs> Who knows? I get gems and rich clothes to wear. And I'm photographed. There's beautiful music, I have personal people to design everything for me just the way I like it. I get delicious things to eat for every single meal, made by professional chefs, the best in the land, the best of the best. There's so much free time for long bubble baths and reading books in one sitting, and seeing friends, and learning new things, and getting to write. This is where you can throw in things you like. Doing art, and singing, and reading, and getting to teach others. You get to travel, and it's all taken care of. So I can do anything I want and go to five-star restaurants and see all the sights. I am adored. 
by a huge audience wherever I go. It's so awesome. Ah, my life is so wonderful. Nothing can stand in my way. Not even me. Not even other people who didn't support me in the past. They'll all see me now in my light. They didn't love me in the past, but that's okay. I'll show them. I'll show them those people who didn't support me in the past. Those people who didn't like me in the past. The enemies in my hero's journey, they will see, they will see, and I will show them. And here's what I'm not going to show them. I'm not going to show them by being small or stunted or contracted or frozen or afraid or poor like they wanted me to be through their bad behavior. You can throw in more on your own if you want to pause this. Or hurt. Hurt. They tried to hurt me, keep me down. And I won't show them by being hurt anymore. And I won't show them by being defensive or reactive. And I won't show them by being afraid of people like them. And I won't show them by being afraid to be myself or go after what I want. And I won't show them by doubting myself or being uncertain or not trusting my own intuition or holding my voice back or holding myself back or taking it out on other people. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I will show them my light where I am so supported in this new story, so supported in my miss mission. I'm at my most brilliant now, my most powerful, my most expressed, my most famous, my most intelligent and interesting and talented internationally recognized as a very important person across the lands. Everyone talks about me in positive ways. Now, I'm so supported in my mission, served with love. That's why I have help and friendship and partners. People who are allies who help me spread my message, my work, my light to the entire globe, the planet. I now give myself permission to embrace all of this or something better, to have my wildest dreams, even a lot of money, or just one small slice of it, an awesome slice of it that I deserve, that I earned when I was born here on this planet. This planet that needs my light to spread to the ends of the earth. I give myself permission to be successful now and forevermore and enjoy it. I give myself permission. I give myself permission to have this happy story. I give myself permission now. I give myself permission. I give myself permission to be successful now and forevermore, and to enjoy it. I give myself permission to really enjoy it, this power and voice. I give myself permission to enjoy the luxuries that I have. I give myself permission to enjoy everything I'm so grateful for and the gifts I've received and am receiving forevermore. I'm lucky. I'm magic. I have money as if by magic, and I'm spiritually enlightened. You could say I'm like a voodoo queen of light, a white witch. I'm magic. What can I say? And I'm praised by the heavens. 
who give a final judgment of, Atta go, girl, you can do it. So I'm totally supported there, too. God, goddess, universe included. In the audience that loves me. Smiling down on me. Smiling my way. Saying yes. Yes to little old me. And big queen me. I honor my reasons for denying myself this in the past. It makes sense. But that's all over now. <laughs> that's an old story. It made sense at the time. And now it is time to unwind, clear, heal, make whole. And I let go of feelings of shame, feeling bad about myself and low, losing confidence. I bless those people who didn't support me too. And I bless where I used to be, where I felt all those negative things. It's all over now, an old story, and I'm in the new one. I give myself permission to step into passion, purpose, and changing the world. To step into being beautiful and brilliant and beneficent as a powerful, successful queen of the land. And I'm spreading light all over the world. Now, this part, you can go ahead and take a breath and just feel how you feel right now. Feel excited and happy? Cool. Now, to really get this in, you might want to get a little mirror, a handheld mirror, um, especially to do the next couple. So the next three phrases, I'm going to say them a bunch of times. And um, it'll be even more powerful if you have a mirror and look at yourself, because then it's like, whoa. Okay. <laughs> but you can do it without for right now if you want. Okay. So. I refuse to be successful. Not anymore. I refuse to be successful. Not anymore. I refuse to be successful. Not anymore. I refuse to be successful. No. Not anymore. Okay. So I like to do that like five times. And we'll do five of this one. I am ready to see myself as queen. 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 Okay. Now, it's slightly different, but I like to do this one like 10 times, a little extra, okay? I am ready to see I am a queen. I am ready to see I am a queen. I am ready to see I am a queen. I am ready to see I am a queen. I am ready to see I am a queen. I am ready to see I am a queen. I am ready to see I am a queen. I am ready to see I am a queen. I am ready to see I am a queen. I give myself permission now to be a queen. It is safe to come out of hiding. Now you can pause this and voice any resistance you have to that idea. I'll give an example, okay? No, it's not safe. <laughs> I can't believe I would ever think that. No, it's not. It's dangerous. I'm not worthy. That's not for me. It's never going to happen. This is silly. This is nonsense. This is stupid. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh my God. What am I doing? This is crazy and weird. Okay, I'm over it. I honor that I felt that way. But that's the past story talking. And I know it is safe. And that is all a lie. 
I'm ready to unwind it. It was okay for the past, and now I'm going to make it clear, heal it, and make it whole. I now give myself permission to be seen and heard as the queen that I am. Forevermore, it is done. And now I like to think of like a crystal or something like shattering by this command. Make it really dramatic in your head, okay? Forevermore, it is done. By my command, the curse is broken. Shatter! <laughs> My new spell is cast, and what I want is also wanting me, coming to me. I can't wait to see what happens now that I'm in charge of my life. In this new story of what is possible for me. So I'm really excited about my life, about what's possible, and I feel very tingly. How do you feel? If you want to take some notes about what you're feeling right now, any ideas that come to mind about what you can do next, um, let yourself be guided as to what to do now, because we've really tapped into your ability to be whole. And when you come from this space, you're more likely to create that life of being expanded and being powerful in it um, because you're already starting here okay all right uh let me know what you think <laughs> all right um again this is sophia of sophiaren.com if you want to have more free resources you can subscribe to my youtube channel or you can go to sophiaren.com and sign up for email updates where i give free resources every week all right cool i love you